Go. There are six people in a meeting. Some people know each other, but some don't. We can make the figure one. Uh, when we connect people who know each other, the next figure looks different from figure one. But the relations among people um, circles are same as those of figure one. Fill in the blank circle, comparing it with the figure one. Okay. So, so the most important part about this problem is knowing when to, uh, how to break it down actually. Um, so first, let's see how each person is connected. Let's look at person A. Person A has three connections. One, two, three, right? And let's look at this picture. This circle has three connections. One, two, three. And also this circle has three connections. One, two, three. So I'll just write down the possible configuration next to the circle. So this circle can be A, and this person also can be A. Now let's look at another nod. I'll arbitrarily choose C because it also has three nods, right? So this, either of these could be C as well. So I'll write down the possibility A and C, A and C. Now look, let's look at some other people. Let's look at person D. D has one connection. So let's look at this picture, and there are two possible circles. This circle and this circle. That could be D. And on this figure one, we also see that uh, person E also just knows one person. So it could be D or E and D or E. Okay, and let's look at B. B knows two people. So in this picture, we also see two connections for this circle and two connections for this circle as well. And uh, just for the last one, person F also knows two people. So they occupy the same on that picture. Okay, now we need to look at what some of these um, characteristics, uh, how like some of these people are connected. Um, so if you look at um, person D, D is connected to C that knows one, two, three people. If we say this is D, and if we say this is the one that is connected to D, and that has to be C then, C has three connections. On the other hand, if we say this is D, and if we say this is C, um, this circle cannot even be C to begin with. So we can tell that it has to be D over here for this circle, and then it has to be C over here for that circle. And we could cancel out the possibility of D and C for these places. So we fill in A over here, and we fill in E over here. OK, for the last part, let's just look at this picture. E is connected to F. The circle, the person that E is connected to would be F then. So since that is F, it automatically cancels this, this person out as well. So this circle has to be B. So when we break all things out step by step, we could get to this configuration. Thank you.